So I'm excited to announce that I renewed my first magazine and they finally cashed my check this week for $34 for two years. So that ought to be thrilling in itself. So that was my Christmas present from Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. But um, let's go ahead here and take up the high points of this wonderful magazine. Which, by the way, I got to apologize. After I just said I was going to snap that picture of the cider, I decided not to. Because you all know how to make cider, so I just put it in the bag. I'm not going to snap it. Um, seven things that make us happy. They say that easy meatballs do. Dazzling on a dime, you should pick fresh bliss. Your genius find is the tea lover's best friend. And show we finding love in the quarantine. And crafting up smiles, a lovely leafly la wow. And they've got some really nice sayings here as we go along. You know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to probably do it this way. So we'll do this. I've never done this before, but we're going to do an Instagram. Take a picture while I do a video. And the one I'm taking picture of, it says, there are greater things than any we leave behind by C.W. Lewis. I love that quote. It says, friendship isn't the, a thing, it's a million little things by Polo Kolo. And that's a beautiful picture as well. You'll get to see it here in a minute, provided the bag back there doesn't fall. Um, now, what I wanted to show you was this uh, lovely leafy wow. It says, because my kids went out leaf peeping around the town, shares Patty Bonyoko, first ex executive F editor. She was inspired by the brilliant, vibrant foliage on the trees. They gathered handful of leaves and decided to craft the color orbs at for our dining table. To make, we used hot glued leaves onto one large and one small styrofoam ball. Overlapped leaves until covered. We wrapped the red jewelry wire around the orbs, crisscrossing them for a grid effect, then added them to a tray. So it was simply stunning. Now look at these orbs that look so expensive, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that something? Okay, we're moving forward. Maybe here. Do -do -do. Trying to get you to the next paper clip, which is where. Oh, how many of you like pumpkin? Okay, this is powering up with pumpkin. Okay, it says that these are seasonal f brim favorites, so you can make these and feel more energized. I guess it says the plant compounds boost energy, eases pain, and speeds recovering. How pumpkin improves your well-being. Now listen up. It turbocharges immunity. Just two t tablespoons of pumpkin puree delivers 88% of the daily value of vitamin A, an antioxidant nutrient that stimulates production of specialized infection-fighting white blood cells. The payoff in an Australian study, subjects who increased take a vitamin A took 38% fewer sick days. Plus, they recovered up to 50% faster when they did catch a cold or the flu. And that's page 18, y'all. It increases your energy. Pumpkin boosts rich stores of magnesium and potassium nutrients that work synergistically to help cells convert sugar into usable fuel. According to the Swedish researchers, the effect is so powerful that a daily dose of nutrient duo can double the energy levels within seven days. Seven days. Soothes aches and pains. Now you can enjoy pumpkin regularly, reduce the risk of arthritis by 48% and ease overall stiffness and pain by 33% report a British researcher. Credit goes out to the plant compound called betra chiroprotoxin that lowers joint inflammation and promotes tissue healing. Now they have some really nice recipes over here. You can do a ginger pumpkin spritzer, a nutty pumpkin latte, a pumpkin banana whirl. Now, if that doesn't wet your whistle, I don't know what does. I'm not going to read it off to you. Some of you may think, oh, she has time. I do not have time. Yeah. 
I work tomorrow, and like I said, my goal is to get through these books with you, share the high points, make you go out and pick them up, because these are excellent books, and you don't know what you're missing. Okay. Now, it says you can revitalize with Autumn's Bounty. This is delicious healing to feel your best with the in-season picks. Did you know that if you want to balance your blood sugar, all you have to do is add three-fourths cup of squash to your daily diet, and it could help you grow th go through the fall days with 65% more energy. That's the word from the British researchers who say squash contains nutrients, alpha-carotene and betrochyloxanthin, that slow carbohydrate absorption and plus heighten insulin sensitivity, cutting fatigue, trigger blood sugar fluxes in half. You want a mood booster? Purdue University researchers, search, Purdue University researchers say a medium skin on the spud can help you feel 42% calmer all day long. Now, it heightens happiness within 20 minutes of your first bite. The reason? Potato skins are one of the richest sources of potassium, which soothes the brain's anxiety, center and boosts the production of the happiness hormone serotonin. Now, do you want to sleep deeper? Savor a pumpkin muffin or slice of pumpkin pie at bedtime, and you can drift off 20 minutes faster and sleep 35% more deeply at night. Canadian scientists say that the pigments that give this fruit its pretty orange U, which is carinoiditis, help calm the central nervous system and switch on enzymes that produce sleep-deepening melatonin. Now, pain reliever. To sidestep aches and pains, work in three cups of leeks into your weekly meal plan. Now, leeks add a mild oniony flavor to savory dishes. Plus, they're rich in compounds, chiamprofro, sulfur, that cut pain-triggering inflammation as much as 55% in one week. Now, says researchers at the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut, your tip, rinse the chopped leeks to remove the grit, drip dry, and the colander. Delicious ideas. Mince and saute white parts of leeks and toss them with green beans for a savory side. Or enjoy them in a mild flavor in the place of onions in a quichier soup. Now, a virus fighter. Ounce for ounce, purple cabbage provides more immunity boosting vitamin C than oranges. Plus, it contains 36 healing nutrients called the anisiatrins that energize virus fighting white blood cells within two hours of your first serving. Enjoy three fourths cup of purple cabbage daily, and as New Zealand researchers say, you'll bounce back from viral infections up to 55% faster. Your focus enhancer. You can't seem to stay on task. Nibbling on two radishes could sharpen your focus and concentration by 40% for 90 minutes. Stanford University researchers say that this root's vegetable peppery bite stimulates the formation of energizing, focusing, enhancing better brain waves. There's just so many good points in this magazine, and I urge y'all to go pick up this magazine. You won't regret it. Okay, 100% healthy all season. This is a good one right now. Remember, we're in the second or maybe even third wave of coronavirus. So right here, this is a good part. It says you can heighten your energy by snapping fall garden photos. Put a little pep in that step. Spend 10 minutes daily taking beautiful fall photos that you can enjoy all winter long. Like the first hint of frost in the garden or the pile of leaves underneath your favorite tree. Doing so stimulates your brain's frontal lobes and increase that production of energizing beta waves for up to two hours. And it will also improve your blood sugar control by 33%. Researchers of the Missouri Logan University say capturing memories and anticipating em enjoyment of them later tamps down the production of blood sugar disruption stress hormone. Are you enhancing your digestion? Well, use this after soothing dinner sip. Take six ounces of tea, black, green, ah long, after the meal triggers the release of digestion enhancing stomach acids to cut your risk of bloat in half. And it tames their blood sugar fluxes up to 48%. 
Research published in the journal Nutrients, according to the study authors, teased polyphone stop glucose spikes by slowing the absorption of simple carbohydrates in the intestines. Deepen sleep. A synth sniff of vanilla. Inhaling an aroma of vanilla at bedtime is proven to help you drift off 20 minutes faster and sleep more soundly and reduce your risk of blood sugar troubles by 55%. Now, British researchers say it's the aromatic, rom, aromatic oils that calm the adrenal glands to reduce the production of stress hormone cortisol by 33%. And when the levels drop, muscle cells can better soak up and burn blood glucose for food. Now, to improve your mood, you want to take a peanut butter snack. It says there's a reason dipping into peanut butter jar is so enjoyable. The fats, the spread, activate enzymes that produce mood-boosting serotonin, says Stanford University researchers. Help shake off that doldrum in 20 minutes. And if you gap between meals in four hours or more, snacking on three tablespoons of natural peanut butter could cut your blood sugar ups and downs by 40%, say Brazilian scientists who credit peanut butter sugar stabilizing copper, manganese, and plant fats. Sharpen your focus. Rubbing here before you eat. Ear massaging prompt the release of focus enhancing neurotransmitter do dopamine, say University of Connecticut researchers helping you think clearly and concentrate for up to 90 minutes per three minute squeeze and giving yourself a mini massage before each meal could reduce your blood sugar swings by 30 percent say the Canadian researchers the reason you stimulate the pressure sensitive nerves in your ears and it relaxes and opens your arteries helping the glucose quickly reach the cells that it needs isn't that interesting? I mean, where else would you find this wonderful information? So informative. You've got to pick up this magazine. Okay. This is one reason I, even though I don't have thyroid trouble, I definitely want a rowing machine because it says it helps improve, it helped this woman heal her th thyroid. Okay. Quick bits. These are health news that matters to you. Feel great. Secret to better blood sugar control. Making time for a leisurely stroll, closing up with a book or relaxing in a bubble bath is often overlooked part of managing type 2 diabetes, say the Ohio State University researchers who found a link between higher blood sugar levels and the stress hormone cortisol. Normally cortisol levels rise during the day and dip at night. But people with type 2 have constantly elevated cortisol levels and therefore higher blood sugar, which makes controlling diabetes and keeping glucose levels in check more difficult, researchers found. Lead researcher Joshua J. Joseph, MD, the endocrinologist says, making a relaxation part of your daily routine reduces stress, steadies cortisol levels, and improves your blood sugar control. Must read news about face mask. Masks have been proven to be reduce COVID-19 spread by 85%, but a recent study in the Journal of Physics of Fluids found they can become less effective when worn repeatedly if someone had a cough. While coughing once or twice into a mask isn't a problem, investigators found that the more the study's volunteered cough, the more respiratory droplets accumulated in the fabric of the mask. This prevents the mask from filtering particles as efficiently as it would in a dry mask, notes the studied author Demetrius Darakis, Ph.D. research, found that after 10 coughing episodes, mask efficiency drops by 8%, meaning it's time to toss the covering in the trash and throw a reusable fabric mask in the wash for a deep clean. Another benefit of catching more Z's. Getting good night's sleep is a heart smart move, and now scientists have found that many hours it takes to hit that sweet spot for health. In a study of 1,752 people with an average age of 64, researchers presenting at a meeting of the American College of Cardiology found those who slept between 6 and 8 hours a night had 38% less plaque buildup in their carotid arteries, and those who slept more or less, the just right sleepers, also had just less stiffness in their arteries from what appears to be the perfect amount of time to swallow the sympathetic nervous system, which amps up the fight or flight response to gear down the arteries to recover. 
Okay. We're going to move on here. Um, they talk about how the nasal immunity to the key to beating COVID. That's right. They cover the big topic that everybody's talking about, COVID. And it says, um, the best drink is green tea, the best food is mushroom, and the best nutrient, I found this interesting, vitamin D. Okay? Now, if you're a PCOS or like I am, vitamin D is a big thing. You don't have, you have issues with vitamin D. And, uh, I thought, uh-oh, you know, that's another thing that may make me, so, you know, get more success, not, not successful, but susceptible to COVID. Um, moving forward, on page 69, they focus on Oprah Winfrey. And uh, she says that her pro secret for smart food solution is Oprah's mashed potatoes with 66% fewer calories. For a lighter version of everyone's favorite comfort food, Oprah subs in chicken broth for heavy cream in her mashed potatoes to make in a pot over medium heat, simmer four cups of low sodium chicken broth, one pound of chopped peeled potatoes, and four cloves of garlic until tender, about 20 minutes. Drain, reserve salt cooking the liquids, mash the mixture with one fourth cup of low fat sour cream. One tablespoon of oil in a half cup reserved liquid. Season with salt and pepper. A smart swap. Your calorie cut is 262. Your carb cut is 38. Your saturated fat gram cut is 10. So the numbers reflect a, a serving of mashed potatoes made with chicken broth instead of cream. And um, they talk about mulling of red wine, which I don't drink. Uh, pomegranate and the use of extra whipped cream but at the very bottom it says you can toss this together for fudge in a flash and I'm gonna take us in an Instagram of this as well it says you take 16 ounces of white chocolate okay you're gonna stir in one can a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and add 12 Oreo cookies chopped you pour into an 8 ounce square pan, top with more cookies, and then you chill it and cut it into squares. Well, I want to get a picture of this, if it'll let me. The phone over here is giving me problems tonight. Do, do, do. Hold on. I'll be right back with you. I know, everybody's like, hey, we're over here. Yeah, I know. Now well, let's take that picture one more time. I, when I comes to pictures, even when it's not me, I'm still picky. Okay. moving forward not very much longer in this book but it's definitely a book that can help you with the holidays uh, speaking of things that will help you with the holidays you know we're all going to have well I shouldn't say we're all going to have a lot of family over some of us won't but um, anyway it says you can replace mop sheets for pennies take an old sock and look at this put it on your Swiffer, sweeper like thing and you don't have to buy the refills um Protect your knees when you do your chores. Uh, take a old pool noodle and you could use that to put on your uh, knees while you're getting down there to clean. Uh, cut holes into a shoebox to make tidy charging, sta charging stations that hide cords. I don't know if I'm too fond of that because to me I think you could have a fire. Uh, Then we're going to turn here. Virus proof all your outings. It says if you're in a public bathroom, they want you to wait a minute. And then uh, if you're at the supermarket, stop here last. Uh, in the restaurant, browse before you go. 
So that's just ideas there they're giving you. Again, and to know the whole story, you got to pick up the magazine. It's worth the magazine. It's worth the price. You won't regret it. Ten brilliant uses for oatmeal. Okay, here we go. You can banish Buster's dandruff flakes. Now to read how to do that, I'm not going to read it to you. You got to pick up the book. Two, you got to block out those annoying drafts. Three, quickly relieve a minor burn. Four. Neutralize your fridge odors. Five, keep little ones enter entertained inside. Six, clean a cast iron pot with ease. Seven, instantly soothe ache and pain. Nine, or eight, perk up fading house plants. Nine, rejuvenate skin for pennies. And ten, mop up oil spills easily. That is pretty interesting, isn't it? Moving forward. Oh, the horoscopes. You all go for those horoscopes. Okay. Let's see. This covers the week October 15th through November 9th. Now, if you are a Scorpio, October 23rd through November 21st, you may feel like sharing what's in your heart with a loved one when the full moon is in your sign around October 31st. Taking time out from your usual to-dos to connect restores your bonds, and from November 3rd on, a new mind-body wellness routine boosts your vitality. Go for it. Now, if you're a Pisces, that's February 19th through March 20th, you're going to move ahead on a project by linking up with a loved one come October 19th. Their support strengths the end result, and while the sun moves through your ninth house of the higher learning around October 22nd, you're diving into new books or an online course that spurs personal growth. Enjoy! Are you a Cancer from June 21st to July 22nd? You'll enjoy light-hearted activities around October 20th while the con con competent sun is in your fifth house of self-expression. Being spontaneous brings you bliss and come November 1st, you may be completing a key project on the job. Celebration is well-deserved before moving on to the next challenge. Sagittarius, which is November 22nd through December 21st. Thanks to Venus in your 11th ha house of networking around uh, October 27th, it'll be easy to connect with others about a shared goal. Teamwork lays out groundwork for a win. October Come October 31st, a new self-care routine like meditation helps you feel more centered. Dive in. Are you an Aries from March 21st through April 19th? Prepare for a daunting project with a friend around October 16th. Collaboration boosts your or bolters your bond, then elevates whether work reflects your long-term goals on October 31st when the full moon is in your second house of income. A gut check now can help you figure out your next move. Are you a Leo? That's July 23rd through August 22nd. Get creative with your money management around October 21st. Transformation changes can now make a greater reward going down that road. And from October 27th on, move frequent check-ins with friends and family. Even a via quick FaceTime chat will warm your heart. Capricorn, December 22nd through January 19th. You'll get a burst of energy to achieve a long-term goal as a new moon falls in your 10th house of career come uh, October 16th. Making even minor moves can help reap big rewards from October 22nd on. Spending extra time talking to neighbors about issues close to your heart can feel satisfying. Are you a Taurus? That's April 20th through May 20th. Carve out extra time with a loved one from October 22nd on. Simple pleasures like a brisk walk bring you joy. Then you may be feeling swept up by emotions on October 31st. Prioritizing your favorite wellness routine can make for smooth sailing. Are you a Virgo? August 23rd through September 22nd, you'll get the green light to make exciting professional move around October 16th. A phone call or an email, email exchange could set up a stage for a win. From October 20th on, your son in the third house of communication fills your calendar with to-dos. Take breaks to keep you firing on all cylinders. How about an Aquarius from January 20th through February 18th? You'll be revved up to step into the spotlight at work while the sun moves through your 10th house of career October 21st. 
Higher-ups will applaud your self-assertiveness around October 31st. Discuss an emotional issue with a loved one. This can set you down a healing path. Gemini, which is May 21st through June 20th. A creative brainstorm could lead to a new passion project come October 16th. The more you express yourself from the more fulfilled you feel from October 22nd on. The sun is in your sixth house of wellness could inspire a new daily routine like deep breathing. You'll be radiant from the inside out. Are you a Libra? That's September 23rd through October 22nd. Take action that brings you closer to hitting your personal goals when the new moon is in your sign around October 16th. Trust your heart to lead the way and you'll soar. And around October 31st, a meaningful conversation with a loved one could heal old wounds and boost harmony. Only one more little thing to share with you. Oh, the comedy part. Just the last laugh. Sorry, but this leaf is a pile of very exclusive. And they have a little girl saying, I think I'm more like a Granny Smith. Oh, I guess it's a little guy. I think I'm more like a Granny Smith kind of guy. And they show Conan O'Brien. Just a little mixture there. Anyway, you've got to pick up First Magazine for Women, November 9th issue. You won't regret it. It's great reads. So that is the end of this video. And I will probably try and do one more. <laughs>